Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you now in this video how to get the skeletal mask in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. He looks like he is bone tired, but don't worry, I will show you how to get him in the game Dark and More in this video. Alright, of course we are going to enter the game as usual. The game is Dark and More. Uh, so there's a certain game type that is basically sort of like, you, there's different waves of characters trying to come and get you. You can choose different spells that you can use uh, for a little extra power for each wave. And you need to get through three waves and then you do need to defeat a boss. The first wave you will see just one gate's going to open. Really easy to defeat these guys. They all just take one hit and they, they disappear pretty fast. But the second wave is a lot harder, they open up two other gates, and then there's some other guys that come in, and they're a little bit more challenging. Uh, but as you can see, I'm speeding forward in this one just a little bit, so you can kind of see. Uh, but if you've got some friends working together, this is not really too hard. You have to protect the little hourglass thing in the middle, and they're basically coming and trying to get the hourglass. So if you die, if there's other people that are still alive, you will come back in the next wave, so it's okay. Uh, basically, everybody in the server, if they are there, for defeating the final boss, then they all get the item. So this is pretty much one of those typical, you know, these aren't really zombies, there's different creatures. So here we are, uh, that's, that's uh, wave three is starting here, as you can see. So they start coming on, they're a little bit stronger each time. Uh, the, the guys that are floating in their blue, I think those take one hit. The guys that are coming out of the, uh, the cornfields, those guys take two. Using your spells uh, can definitely help. So now you summon the boss, basically, after you've gone through the third wave. And then uh, you'll see here in a minute, after you've summoned the boss and you've killed a whole bunch of these guys, you can go and see that, that big mouth there on that new open gate. That's going to open up, as you can see. And then you want to take out this guy here in the middle of that. He's got a big cool... He's got a pretty cool looking outfit, uh, I have to say. I think that's built off of some character I'm not sure but yeah once you defeat him then uh, then he'll disappear and of course you're gonna get your uh, awesome little welcome message it says boss defeated you save time and then it says congratulations and then you can go and look in your inventory and of course you will have this cool little item over here it is the skeletal mask it looks like a very very sad little skeleton guy but anyhow I hope this has been helpful for you guys make sure if this is your first time here that you subscribe and hit the notification button on the way out so you guys are notified about future event videos and other live streams that we do all right thanks for watching bye what is up everybody and welcome back to g-rated family gaming channel i want to show you how to get this elder wand in roblox as a part of the 2018 halloween event so watch this video and i will show you exactly how to get this Okay, so the game that you want to play is Dark and More, and it starts as any event game with a welcome message and a short little description. Find this guy in the lobby, his name is Newt, and you're going to talk to him. And he has a problem, basically he has this little uh, Zawu thing that he lost, and you need to help him find it. So you need to first help him find a case, and some lure, and then the Zawu. So you have to find these three things, I will show you exactly, exactly where to find all of these items. And then you get to come talk to him and let him know that you've got all the items. So uh, after you talk to him, you go through this little conversation. I don't know why he can't find his own Zawu, but he, I mean, he, look, this guy's got magic, okay? He's got a wand and he can teleport wherever he wants, so whatever. Okay, uh, I digress. There is a certain game type that you have here, and one of them is... Uh, where you're defending a little hourglass thing. It's kind of like a different waves kind of come in like zombies. And if you get to the second wave, uh, you will see that there are two cornfields. In one of those cornfields that you can see, the one that I went into, go in there and go to the back. You're going to have to uh, see that little shed back there. Uh, just um, ignore these little derpy, derpy crows. I don't know. I, I, I have fun killing those crows because they're very derpy. But anyhow, you go up here and you go to the shed and you will find back in this shed, in this particular game type, you will find this briefcase. So that is one of the three items that you will get. So when you're done, uh, you can basically leave or whatever. Next game type, the normal game type that you see in Dark and More is basically there is this, this certain type where there is a monster running around. You can be a monster, you might be a monster, and you might be a regular human. And it's monsters versus humans. Now, see how the clock hits 2 minutes and 30 seconds there? Now, once the clock hits 2 minutes and 30 seconds, there is going to be a spawn of one of the lures, 
and that will spawn in one of the spots where the, the, the clock spawns. See, there's still a clock there, but see this? It looks like a cat toy, and there's going to be one of them, and it's going to spawn. So you get it, and it says you found a cat toy. So that is the lure. You want to get that, and that won't show up in the map until 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and it will count down from that. And I can tell you from experience from the person who developed the game, who is in here right now. Look at that. That is the developer. So next you want to do uh, the lobby. Go to the lobby. Go to the AFK mode in the lobby, and then uh, start start climbing up here we're gonna try to find this zawu thing it's some sort of like i don't know lion creature it reminds me of it reminds me of the the the, the creature from never ending story so anyhow you climb up to the top and see this little x right here you're gonna stand on this little x you can find find that little x spot right there and then if you look up into the trees you will find the zawu if you look up there see see that little thing that the little red thing little dragon looking thing so you might have to move around a little bit but you'll get a prompt that says you found the zawu now report back to newt so you know where he is you don't actually grab him or pick him up you just want to leave that little spot where the x was and you want to head down the stairs over to where newt was he's still chilling where he he was and and again I, I i need to i we need to go over this fact that that newt can teleport okay okay he needs our help to find these things never, never mind never mind it's about the event guys it's about the event so go talk to him let him know that you've got your case and let him know that you've got your uh you've got the lure and that you found zawu he's like what you found Zawu? he's very excited about it What's weird is he looks like he's got a very concerned look on his face. See, look, he can teleport. It's like, he could have found this. Stuff. Never mind. Uh, the lure, you found it. Yes, so we found the lure. He needs the lure, and he needs his briefcase in order to get Zawu to come down. So he's like, all right, three out of three. You got all those things. That is cool. Again, still, he's he's got an issue with that. N never mind. Okay, so he holds the cat toy, and apparently that's all you really need to lure the Zawu. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly. But it gets back in his little briefcase, and now you are good to go. He says, thank you very much for the help. You have done a good job. You have helped this guy, Newt, find his Zawu. And I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Zuwu? Zu like you? You? Zawu? Zuwu? I don't know. Before I leave, you should come to my case for a reward. So now you have to go back to where his case is. I don't know. Hey, dude, why couldn't you just give me the reward? We're like, we're here. You've got your case. You've got your Zawu in your case. But whatever. So we have to climb back down here over to this spot where we can you know, we can talk to him again uh where he was he now has left his suitcase so that's the whole point you go over there and you're gonna chill at his suitcase i guess or or find the gift that he gave to you i don't know so <laughs> just come around the corner here and there his suitcase is you click on that and then you'll get the little message that says congratulations well actually you'll get teleported over here and uh he's gonna thank you again for the help because i guess now you're technically inside of his suitcase with him and so you're small but now you get the congratulations message and you look in your inventory and you will have this awesome little uh wand over here and this thing is called the elder wand so i hope this has been helpful for you guys make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out if you guys are new here so that you guys can be notified about future videos for this event and other future events and that you can come and hang out with us in some of our future live streams as well thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you later bye Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to g -Raid Family Gaming. I want to show you how to get this imaginary companion in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event in the game, Escape Room. Now this one's a little bit tricky, so make sure you pay attention to all the details and I'll just show you how to get through this uh, Escape Room and how to get this item. So the game is Escape Room, and of course they're going to give you a little welcome message with a little bit of information. What you want to do is go into the map select area, and then take a left so that you can go into the multiplayer map level. So you're going to have to actually solve your way out of this escape room, which will be easy because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So don't worry about it. Uh, just click on this. You uh, cr can create your own party and then just click on start party and it'll take a minute because it's going to load. Uh, and then there's just going to be like this little intro graphic that tells you about a little ring thing that you've got to uh, find. Uh, so we're going to go and find the ring. Essentially, we're going to go find a ring. We're going to find a curse and then we have to set the curse free. Uh, when you get in there, go and get this little key right away. You'll uh, see inside of this water fountain a little key click on that and pick it up then you're gonna go over to the right side there is a little uh, old hatchet that is just sitting here on a stump so 
click on that and grab that as well. Then go over here to the mansion and in front of the mansion, in order to get in, you're going to have to go into your little inventory on the bottom left and click on the hatchet in order to get those boards off. Uh, and then after that, click on the key and then click on the door behind it. And then you'll see you're gonna get a little animation here that will show you getting into the, uh, the, the mansion. Okay, so now that you have found yourself inside the mansion, just go up to the stairs. Don't worry about that little doll thing. We'll worry about him later. There is a little puzzle here that you're going to need to solve in order to get out. Uh, we solved one for the item, the Niffler companion as well. Basically, this little red block, you have to get over to the right side of this whole thing. Uh, but see this little block here? I need to move it down, but I can't do that because I got these other blocks in the way. And I can't move that because there's these other blocks in the way. So start moving some blocks around and seeing how you can move these in a way so that they can get out of the way. So you can move the blocks necessary to get this thing to open. Now, you're gonna have a completely different puzzle on yours. There's lots of different variations and it's randomly generated. So looking at what I do for my puzzle is not going to be exactly the same as what you do on your puzzle. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to kind of figure it out. I wish I could give you solutions to every single possible puzzle, but I'm, I have no idea how many, but there's a lot of them and they can be a little tricky to get through. So start moving them around. As you can see, I'm moving this one down and I can move, let's see, this one over, uh, but I can't move those other ones on the upper right down unless I can move that one on the bottom right over. So uh, we're going to try to move that thing over here. Okay. And we can do that. We can move this down and then we can move the other one down all the way, but there's still that one that's in the way. So I need to get that one up so I can move the red block. So we're going to move that over and that over. Okay, cool. And now I should be able to move this up and then we'll be able to move the red block over to the right so that's basically what you have to do it's going to be a little bit different for you and uh, if you have a wide stance it's going to be hard to get in here so i have to go into first person to go through the doors but right across the way as soon as you go through that door there is another door and uh, if you look around this room you can see there's a little key right here that is sitting on this little uh, couch area so you're going to want to pick up that key uh, if you click on anything and it doesn't work just go into a uh, third person view and click on it. Uh, and usually you should be able to click on and pick up whatever you need. So if anything's not really working when you click on it, either go into first person or third person or would be opposite of whatever you are currently and you should be able to do it. Uh, there's a little keypad here, but we don't know the code yet, uh, but there's a little hint thing here. And basically the last part you need to remember is the number missing the magic sum, first the former, then you're done. Okay. Okay, at this point, so you're gonna turn around and go out this door and there is, since you've got that little key that we just found on the couch, we can get into this door that is down the hall. So make sure you go into your, uh, your inventory. You're gonna have to grab that key and then click on the door. If you don't have the key, you're not gonna be able to get in the door. But once you get in here, you're gonna see this little thing on the, on the right here. See this little four by four uh, puzzle? So there's one number that's missing. And as you can see, you count up to 16. The one number that's missing is 13. So 13 is one of the missing numbers in that riddle. And then also the magic sum. If you notice, if you add these numbers left to right or up to down, any of those numbers, that sum is gonna be 34. So like one plus 10 plus seven plus 16, that's 34. 15 plus 11 plus six plus two, that's 34. One plus 15 plus 14 plus four, that is 34 as well. So your numbers are 13 and 34. So the, the former and the latter, the way it tells you in that little hint, the number, the code that you need for this thing is 1334. So 1334 is your code. You come over here to this little radio thing where you can enter the code. And uh, let's see, I think I have to go into third person here. We're going to click on that as well. Then we're gonna enter the code 1334 and then 1334, you entered that and the password will be accepted. And underneath, you've got this little uh, area that opens up. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, there is a ring down here in this little area. It's a little bit of a maze, but it's not too much to deal with. Uh, if you get to an area where you see something that is kind of uh, glowing, then you know you're, you're close. The area where the ring is 
kind of glows. You can watch where I go in this video and hopefully that will help you get to where you want to be. Uh, ignore that little fairy thing that tries to lead you around. I think it's just to distract you. So as you can see, see that green glow over there? So on the other side of that wall, you can tell is where the, uh, the, the ring is going to be. But just watch out. When you grab this ring, there's going to be something that is cursed within this this haunted mansion i think so uh grab this ring you're gonna need that it's gonna give you super power strength and it's gonna help you deal with curses and everything so now you have casted a curse upon the mansion by stealing the ring so of course you're gonna get this really cool cut scene and you're gonna see that in front of the door in the front there is going to be uh, some sort of smoke monster or something. I think that the, the smoke monster from Lost is getting some work finally. So that is good. I'm proud of him. Glad, glad he's getting his work. So this is your little cutscene. And after this, you've got a little bit of work to do now to break the curse so that you can get out of here. So now you are done down here in this little area. All you have to do is find your way out to find the stairs so you can get back upstairs so you can do the rest of the stuff that you need to do in the map. Uh, sometimes this little light might lead you kind of closer, but it, usually that light is trying to lead you away. So don't don't follow that little light. He's, he's mischievous. So just follow where I went. You can see it's shaking a little bit because of the curse that you set free. So good job. Way to go on that one. All right, now you're going to go through this door. And since you've done this thing and you've opened uh, the curse, the little hall at the very end, that door is now open. And you see this green light right here. It stands out. And you click on that, you're going to see colors flashed on the wall. I get red, black, black, red, red. Okay, so I didn't see all of those. We're going to have to go click on this again so we can get all the colors one more time. So we're going to click on this thing over here. Okay, let's all right, all right, click on that. So we got red, black, black red red yellow red okay red black black red red yellow red your colors are going to be different okay so the colors are going to be different each time you go in here but when you turn around you're going to see the ears these little books here that are in the bookshelf and i recommend going to the third person and clicking on them. sometimes when you're clicking on them from first person they just it just doesn't seem like they always work every time so just go and enter the colors of the pattern that you saw on the wall uh if you see like sometimes it looks like orange, it might actually be yellow, and sometimes pink looks a little bit like white. Uh, so if you see some colors and it doesn't quite match up, it might be that one of those colors you know, looks like one color, but it's not quite the one that you think it is. But once you enter that code, this little door is gonna open up and you're gonna see back behind there, there's a whole trap door. And there's this one little box over here. You click on that box and then you get yourself a key. Yay, another key. So you're done in that room, at least for now. You're gonna have to come back here to find yourself a little little blocks can creature thing, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, so you're gonna go on to the opposite end here. Now, all the way on the other end is this last door. So now you can get in there because you've got the right key to get in that door. So click on the key and then click on that door and then you can get into this place. Oh, I didn't load up the key properly. So make sure you click on it and then get in there. Now, this is the library. You've got the key to the library. Now, there are some books here in the library that you are going to look for that are going to basically basically give you a little bit of a code as you can see that little pink one on the other side has uh it stands out from the other books quite a bit uh and see that blue one as well so there's there's this pink one here uh you can't tell if it's a six or a nine because it's laying sideways i'll tell you right now that is a nine i tried the six and that didn't work i was like wait what why was it working i thought okay the six could actually be a nine so the pink stands for six. You see this blue one over here. The blue book is a three on it. So the blue stands for uh, the number three. And there's uh, another one over here. See up at the top, there's a green one. And on that one, you see the number one on the green uh, book. So we know that pink is nine, blue is three, uh, green is one. And then around the other side here, you're gonna see one more book. And it's a little gray one over there. So that gray one, and you see the number seven right there so we've got all four of our numbers those are the four numbers that we want and then when you turn around over here by the fireplace you can see up at the top there's this thing it has um it it has the uh the the pink and then it's got the gray and then it's got the green and the blue so pink gray green blue would also correspond to nine seven one three so right below this thing you're going to go and enter a passcode. So when you click on this, you enter another four digit code and your code of course is 9713. 
three that you found through the books and through the little code up above there to indicate then there's going to be a book this is a spell book you pick up the spell book and then you've gone and done it you've let the blocks the kittens free what are they i don't know i think they're just creepy stuffed animals apparently i don't know they're they're pretty cool actually i, I kind of want these little little bloxies as plushies i think they could be cool toys but one of them that you have to find five of them they're all hiding throughout uh, the map in different areas you'll see you'll find the first one here in the library right behind you this little witch you can see her uh, most of these block skins they've got part of the curse on them so click on that one that is the first one now you're done in the library you can get out of here and go on and find the next bloxican i think that's what it is bloxicans i don't i don't know okay so next one is here in this room and behind here you will see that there is one hidden down here behind this little shelf see that little guy down there he looks like he's he's got he's got emo problems going on i think he's kind of an emo little toy still cool though i still want all these little toys i think they're all really cool toys so now we're going to leave this room once again and go over to uh that one room that we went to the last time we left this room uh where we found that big board that had the four by four except now uh, around on the other side of the board you're gonna find the headless horseman blocks again so that's pretty cool <laughs> i like that one so click on that little guy and we've got three out of four of them now so we're done in this room now let's get out of here and turn around and go through this door and remember this little hidden area back here there is now another little block skin hiding right here on the ground next to the skeleton oh look they're buddies i like it they're buddies they get along so well so that is four out of five of the block skins the last one is hidden up here you go to the top go out this door again and this the statue of here it's too too heavy for you to move it by yourself but if you use the magic power of the ring you should be able to move it so you go and you click on the ring and then you click on that little thing and then have him move over and then click on the door and you can go back there and go inside the door and you will find the final block skin doll right there he is a cool looking one he's got the wings and he's got the horns and i don't think there's really anything else you have to deal with in here it looks like a baby got cursed there but I, I don't really want to go into that so much well that there's a baby carriage there that has little smoke stuff never mind okay so we're gonna go here to this front of the the um, the area and we're gonna lay down all five of these little block skins because I guess they need to make a sacrifice or something to save this other block skin I don't know uh, make sure you've got your ring on right now too and your ring is equipped you still got that on so now that you put those five things down there click on this little guy and then you're going to set the curse free and now you can leave the mansion and make sure you deselect that ring so you're not selecting it anymore because if you click on this door here while it's still selected it won't work but now there you go this might look a little bit different to you because uh because the animation isn't there yet but uh, you escaped twilight manor and then you'll get a congratulations message that lets you know that you won something and it's in your inventory all right then go and check your inventory and you'll have the imagination the imaginary companion so that's pretty cool uh i hope this has helped you guys make sure if you haven't done that yet subscribe and smack that notification button on the way out so you guys are notified about future event videos and also future live streams thanks guys and we'll see you later Yo guys, welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming. I want to show you how to get this Niffler Companion in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. It's a little bit tricky, so make sure you watch this video and I will show you exactly what you need to do to get this. Okay, so the game is Escape Room and of course you're going to start out with a little welcome message that says, okay, a little bit of details about it, but you're not really going to know that much. Uh, so when you first get in here, see that little lion with the event symbol on it? Click on him and it says you haven't started the mission yet. To start the mission, you have to go find Newt's briefcase located in the obby, uh, or in the lobby. So uh, you turn around and in one of these corners, you will find a briefcase. It's sort of glowing. So you can see that one over there in the corner and then go over to that briefcase and click on it. So after you click on it, I guess you have released this little creature called a Niffler. And he is a mischievous little creature, and it looks like he also likes to hide from you. But it's your job to put him back in that case. So in order to do that, you're going to have to do a couple of things and go to a couple of different rooms. You don't really have to solve any escape rooms. There's a little bit of stuff that you have to solve in one of them. But it's not really too much stuff, and it's nothing too complicated. Uh, so you can see now that these instructions have been updated. You have to go catch him in the treasure, uh, the treasure cave 
area. It is a single player map. So you're gonna to wanna to walk over to the map select area and then you're gonna take a right to go into the single player selection and then it'll teleport you over to the little area here that you can see uh, here in just a minute. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you don't wanna go into the prison uh, break one yet. You want to, uh, it's, it's one of the easy ones. Go to the right and then go to the treasure cave. Uh, click on play and then you'll see just a little animation here to indicate to you that it's part of the event and you're trying to catch this little Niffler guy right there. So he appears right there, right in front of you. And so you don't have to go and search for him or anything, but catching him is a little tricky. This kind of reminds me of the ketchup egg from the egg hunt this year. When you get close to him, he basically will try to run away from you. So your job is to catch him. He's a little tricky. Uh, I found a good ways to kind of get him towards the back of the room here. And then you can sort of get him on the other side of this little pillar on the ground and then kind of jump back and forth and uh, eventually kind of corner him over here just like I'm doing in this way and then uh, this this is kind of the best way to corner him okay kind of keep jumping back and forth and as you can see I got him so after this point since you've got him here you can actually just reset and go back to the lobby you don't have to solve anything you don't have to escape that room or anything like that just go back here and then click on that little lion uh, that little picture I'm, I don't know if it's a lion but that that little thing on the left side with the event tag and then you see that you have updated instructions he has run to the prison escape level so once again go over here to the map select side and then go to the right again you're going into the single player option and again last time we went into one of the free games and it was the treasure cave level now you're going to actually select this uh, other one it is the prison break level so you go in here you're going to have to solve a little bit of stuff here well it's not gonna be too tricky because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do so under this little candle thing is a key you grab that key uh, this little thing don't worry about it this is just gonna throw you off so don't 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 worry about that uh, there's a little bed over here at the side and uh, as you can see that there's some there's some covers kind of covering something up uh, but before you do that under the bed you're gonna see a little niffler over here so go over there and click on niffler you click on him but don't worry he hasn't left yet you can't leave yet he has uh, gone somewhere else in the map so uh, he's still in this map and you still have to work on the prison break one a little bit so you go over to the bed you click on the top of the blankets and under the blankets you will find a handle you click on that handle so now you've got the key and you've got the handle so you uh, go into your inventory on the bottom left you click on the handle and then after so you go to the bottom left uh, wherever that handle is click on the handle and then go up here click on this there you go and then click on the key key and then click on that again and then you'll open it and you'll get another key. This is the key to the cell that opens up right behind you. So now you grab that key out of your inventory and you click on this little lock here and you will open this lock. Now you come in here, there's, a, there's an item here that you're gonna want, it is a chair. And also behind you, there's a little screwdriver down there at the bottom. Uh, you can grab that later. This little plant, you're going to remember because Niffler is going to move over there later, but he's not there right now. But we'll show you that when that happens. So now that you've got the chair, you can turn around and there is a little rusty grate up at the top over there, but you can't reach it. So go down and select the chair, then select the grate. And as you can see, you'll put that chair down in front of it and you can jump on the chair and you can get closer up to it. But there's some rusty screws, so you're gonna need a screwdriver. So go back into this other room and underneath here, underneath these, underneath these benches, you will see a screwdriver. So go grab that screwdriver and then go back into the other room one more time and then step onto the chair. And then uh, once you get onto the chair, you're going to select the screwdriver if the chair will let you jump onto the chair. Sometimes the chair is a little bit tricky. Uh, so, so in your inventory on the bottom left, grab the screwdriver and then click on the grate and then the grate will go away. And then you jump up there and then look to your left and you will find in the corner this little Niffler. There's Niffler. So you found him for his second hiding spot here in this, but he's still in one more hiding spot. Spot. I showed you that little plant that uh, that I sh that we were uh, looking at earlier. Uh, he's actually behind that plant. Go look behind that plant, and he's hiding there. And you can click on him one more time, and you will get a little success message. Uh, so you're done on this particular level. Again, you can reset, you can rejoin the game, and go back to the lobby. 
So now you're going to see that he has escaped to Twilight Manor, which is a multiplayer level. So go into level sec select, go into the multiplayer. You don't have to have extra people. I mean, it's it's you, you can work on this together as a group and you guys can all get this part. Uh, but you can actually just join as one person. So just create a party and then start the party and then it'll kind of count down a little bit. And then you can just join and get into this level all by yourself. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but you'll, you'll have to kind of wait a little bit because it gets gives an opportunity for other players to join. Uh, but once you're in here, you're going to go through the gate, just the main gate. You go in there. Uh, as soon as you go in the gate, you're going to find this rusty hatchet over there. Uh, the gate is, you can just open it. It's pretty easy. And then you use the rusty hatchet here on this door. You go down there, uh, select in your inventory this hatchet, and then you use it on these little wooden barriers uh, that are holding the door there. Uh, but the door itself uh, if you click on it, you're going to see that it's locked. So there is a key, as you will see, in the fountain behind you. You turn around and it's hidden right there. And then go back and use this key to get inside this door. Uh, then afterwards, you're going to see this little cut scene to get into the level. And it's it's this little, little thing right here, as you can see. Uh, and then you're going to get yourself inside of the mansion. Now that you got yourself inside of the mansion, you just go straight up the stairs right away, and there's gonna be a little door in the back, but there is a little puzzle that you're gonna to have to solve as a part of the door. Uh, basically, you see that where it says finish, you're gonna to have to move all the pieces around so you can get the little red block over into that finish area. So you're gonna see a different sort of pattern than what I've got. There's a lot, a lot of different variations of this. So yours is going to be completely different from mine. So basically what you want to do is try to move whatever blocks are in the way of getting the red block over to the right side. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. It takes a little time, but it's definitely doable. Uh, try to see exactly what blocks are in the way and where you have to move them. And sometimes if there's other blocks in the way, just keep moving around until you find a way to get the red block moved over to the side. Uh, so after you go in here, uh, there is going to be this door right in front of you. As soon as you go into this door, right in front of you, there is another door. And as soon as you go in there, you are going to see Niffler again. So you're going to have to catch him one more time like we did in the treasure cave uh, map. Uh, again, he's kind of like the ketchup egg from the egg hunt uh, 2018. You just have to run around the room and try to corner him and catch him somehow. Uh, he's a little tricky. It might take a little time to catch him, but don't get frustrated. Eventually, you'll get him. Uh, just, just keep going back and forth. And the best way to do it is to try to corner him and anticipate where he's going to go and try to get in front of him until you can get him. As you can see here, I'm get, he's giving me a little bit of the run around, uh, but I jumped on him right there. So then it says success. And then when you're done, you go back to the lobby and you can see you've got all those check marks done and it says you caught him. Now you have to go find that briefcase again and put him away. So that briefcase where you let him go, go back to that and click on it. And then you will get a congratulations message. And it says to go watch the movie on the 16th of November. And then of course you look in your inventory and you will have a Niffler companion. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell on your way out so that you guys can be notified whenever there are future event videos and live streams. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you later. Bye. What is up everybody and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I just want to show you during this video how to get this Picket Shoulder Companion item. It is kind of a cool little dude that you can get in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video and I'll show you exactly how to find all of these pets and how to get this item. Okay, so as always, when you open it up, you're gonna get a little welcome message and kind of some notes on how to get the items, uh, but they're, they don't really tell you as much as you need to know. Uh, so what you want to do, out kind of around the school, kitty corner from where the Pearls place is and all over, over by where you see the entrance to go to the maze, you're gonna find this sewer, which you can see it has green stuff coming out, so it's very stinky, obviously. And right across, as soon as you go in there, you're gonna see this little switch. So press that switch once, and then after you press that switch, You've opened this door, basically, that is a, a little secret door that you can use to go back in here in this little secret area. You can also press the, the button again if you want to close it behind you, but uh, you're going to just come back through, so it's not necessary. Just follow this path all the way down, and uh, when you get to the end of the path, you're going to walk over a bunch of lockers and everything. 
you're gonna wanna take a left here as soon as you get in there. See that? Okay, so you take a left and you keep following this path. And as you can see up there a little bit, we've got this little we've got this little guy that you can that you can uh, I think his name is Picket. It's Picket. So you go click on him, and as soon as you find one of these guys, then it's basically here is your checklist. You are on your little journey to this. You can close this, or you can look at uh, your little checklist. And there's five total that you need. I'm going to show you where every single one of them are, and you basically become a Mazuologist. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not positive, but after you collect five of these fantastic beasts, then you become a Mazuologist. But, you know, what we're going for really is that picket shoulder pet, of course. So that is your first one. The second one is right down below next to that one here in the water. This one, I believe, is known as Kelpie. So you can go and get him. He's right there. He is a seaweed dragon, I think, is what he is is called. I, I'm not sure exactly. You're going to have to watch the movie. Uh, so after you get that, there's nothing else that you're going to need down here in this tunnel. So you can go back up to the surface. Go in the building and climb up to the top area and go in the science building. It'll say science on the door. Once you go in there, you can see that you'll find this little niffler guy hanging out right there in, uh, I don't know, it looks like a sandbox. Actually, it looks more like a cat litter box, but I'm I'm not going to go into details about that. So that is the third creature that you find. Um, the the science room is just upstairs inside the building. Pretty easy to find. So out in front of the call or of the high school, uh, you'll see there is also uh, that's the little area where you went down below and found those guys. So there's also this door which takes you to a maze area. Uh, it's also in a different part of the map, but it's pretty it takes a while to get to. Uh, but I just use this to teleport to this area and turn around and behind you you will find this I think they call it an astral so that is where that one is hidden click on that one now we've got four out of five so to find the final one go back in front of the school again and as you can see this is uh, kind of a main starting point for us you go inside the school and you go to the back and you are going to find the owl and it's in the janitor's closet I think that makes sense because well Harry Potter had to sort of hide in the closet under the stairs and he had an owl right I guess it, make, it makes sense okay okay it makes sense so once you click on that you get that owl and then uh, you're going to get a congratulations message and it says you know watch the movie of course and that you've got an item in your inventory and of course you go and look into your inventory and you've got your picket shoulder companion he's kind of cute you can't see him a whole lot but uh, it's pretty cool uh, probably I think he's from the movie so we're gonna have to watch the movie and find out all about him if this is your first time here please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified about future event videos and come and hang out with us during some of our live streams what is up guys and welcome back once again to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you how to get this creepy kitty hat accessory that you can get in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. Now this one's not as easy as a lot of the other ones. You don't just walk through a door. This one's a little trickier. So we're going to show you exactly how to get this in this video. Okay, so the game is Robloxian High School. If you came through the event map, then you probably got yourself that cool backpack. But basically, out in front of the school, if that's where you are, you might spawn somewhere else. So just go out in front of the high school. You will see that there is a door in there, one of these familiar looking doors. So you go in there and there's circular mazes. Okay, so there's different ones, guys. Here's a clip of one of them. And then I'll show you here is a clip of a second one, which is completely different. And then uh, here is a third one here, which is completely different. And there's even more than that. So there's so many different ones I wish I could tell you exactly where to go and which way to turn but you're gonna spawn a different map than most of us everybody's gonna have kind of a different one so what I recommend is kind of kind of have your bearings uh, if you get caught by one of the monsters you start off in the beginning so kind of get used to uh, when you turn left or when you turn right which direction is the correct direction uh, because it's gonna say hey you, you, you can't do that so um, I'll show you in this video me going through two of the mazes to get to the inside as you can see you're gonna start getting chased by monsters so you're gonna get away from them so just try to go fast uh, if you find a dead end turn around go the other direction try to remember where you were and try to remember which part is the center of the maze and where you're trying to head towards uh, so I guess that's kind of the best I can give you as far as advice so watch this video and watch exactly how I go through these two mazes to get to the center
as you can see here i'm really close so look for that opening and look for this tower you'll see it in the middle uh things are going to kind of you'll be able to tell a little bit by the size of things if you're getting closer to the center or not uh but once you get to the center then yay good job climb up to the top and that's all you have to do once you get to the top you will get your little uh congratulations message that says that you've won something and of course it reminds you to go watch the crimes of grindelwald uh fantastic beast when it's in theaters i think it starts november 16th and this ends the day afterwards so you've got until november 17th but here is uh me going through a second map which is completely different when compared to the first map so as you can see uh again you guys are going to have totally different maps than the ones i'm playing through here and I really, really wish I could give you a turn by turn and example that's going to show you, but it kind of randomizes. And I've gone in there and seen, you know, every single time, you know, I've gone in five, six times, every single time it is a totally different map. So I'm thinking there's probably a lot, a lot, a lot of different ones. Uh, so the chances that you're getting the same maps that I got are probably slim. So good luck, guys. Uh, you'll get through it. It really didn't take me too long. To get to the center of these maps they were they were actually fairly simple uh because i've spent a lot more time in in map games and roblox in the past so good luck once you do this uh when you're done you are going to have that little cat head in the creepy cat head in your inventory and it is a uh it's it's pretty creepy i will give it i'll give it kind of a i'll give it a six and a half out of ten on the creepy scale i think 10 out of 10 though to the clown that, that creepy clown, Creeper's the clown, he is definitely way creepier. And you get him by going into the uh, the, the door for Hunted. So uh, you, get, you guys can watch here, just the very end of this, um, trying to get to the center of this maze and watch the directions. And you can kind of see, you know, the direction you're going, try to make sure as soon as you see a dead end, you know, you, you get away from it and then just go a different way and try not to turn around and head back towards the outside. But there's the creepy kitty. It is a very creepy kitty. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified for future event videos from Roblox and also for live streams that we have. Uh, yeah, so you look at that on my Avdar. It just, it looks pretty good. So that's a pretty neat item. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you later. What is up guys and welcome back. I wanna show you how to get these cool cat eye glasses in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video and I will show you exactly how to get this. Okay, so we're gonna start here as always in the parking lot and with this little overhead view, we're going to come across the purple carpet. We're gonna head over here to this little dock and then we're gonna take a little swim across to this little area. It's uh, Craven's Kingdom. Then we're gonna take a right past these little uh, fences right here and then there's a little building and and there's a door there to take you to the game escape room okay here we are guys at the normal starting location at the swampland entrance so you can actually if you want to go this way see that tower over there way over on the right you can just swim and you can probably go there that way but we're going to take our normal path across this purple carpet so this is a, another one of the items that all you have to do is you just go inside the door and it's going to take you to a game escape room and then you're going to get this item for free now there are two other items that you can win in escape room and there are going to be separate videos that i'm going to make for tutorials on how to get those separate items in the escape room so uh but this is just one of those free ones another one of the free ones uh okay so see this little dock that we're going off to on the right we're going to pass that Robloxine High School, we're gonna swim across here. And uh, we know previously we went to the left and we went to another door, but here what we're gonna do, instead of going left, we're gonna go right. And then you just follow that path and it's going to take you past this little gate over here and then into this door. So another one of those doors that you just go into and as soon as you get in there, it's going to teleport you over to escape room and you're going to get a free item. Now, after you've done your teleport through that level, that specific door to escape room, you will check your inventory and then you've got the cat's eyes. Now, if I wear them by themselves, they look pretty creepy, but I'm going to check them out with my Dominus. They look pretty cool. I might actually wear them sometimes with my Dominus. Anyways, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out if you have not done that already so that you guys are notified about future event videos and live streams. And we will see you guys later. What is up guys and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you how to get this Grave Grappler in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video and I will show you exactly how to get this thing.
Okay, so what we're doing as usual, we're starting out here in the parking lot. We're going to head across the uh, the purple carpet. Here's a little uh, overhead view for you. And then we're going to head to this little dock, take a little swim across this dock, and then take a left to this little tower. And then under that tower, there is a door uh, at the bottom uh, floor, and you can go in that door, and that is going to take you to the game Mystic Tower. And here we are once again at ground level, starting at the swamp where we entered in the very beginning. So this is where you will originally spawn. So from here, you're going to go across this purple carpet as usual. Uh, say hi to that guy. We're going to name him Larry, that guy on the left side. But this is another one of those items. That all you have to do is just go through the door. And if you enter the door, then it's going to teleport you to a different game. And you don't even have to do any missions inside that game. So that one on the right that we just passed there, that's the Robloxing High School one. And then we're going to go over to this little dock over here then we're going to take just a quick short swim over here across the corner to this area known as craven's kingdom so we're going to go into craven's kingdom get on that dock and then here once we get on this we're going to take a left basically follow this little path back here and then there is a big tower there on the right side there you go see that tower now there is a door at the bottom of that tower and that is exactly where you go in and that is going to teleport you to this game called mystic tower speaking of towers there you go mystic tower right here but most importantly after you do that you will have this in your inventory and it looks pretty cool so uh, i hope this has been helpful for you guys if you're new here make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out so you guys are notified about future event videos and live streams what is up guys and welcome back and if you want to take creepy to a whole new level in roblox then watch this video so i can show you how to get this creeps the clown hat which is a really really big head and it's super creepy and it's part of the roblox 2018 halloween event it's one of those items so uh watch this video and check it out and i'll show you exactly how to get this okay so in this video a little overhead view what we're doing is we're starting out here in the original parking lot where we spawned the first time then we head across there across the purple carpet and then we're gonna head all the way back here we're gonna go past this and then we're gonna go over to this island across this water past this door as well way to the back of the map here to this pirate ship and then across the pirate ship there is this little uh door in this house that is right across from the pirate ship and we're going to show you how to get to that door and that takes you to the game hunted all right, so here we are back at ground level at the very beginning area where you're spawned in the little swamp, the, the swampland area. So this is where everybody spawns. If you started in a new location, you might be a little bit closer to it, but uh, make sure you refer to the map if you need to know where to go. So this is another one of these items where all you have to do is find the door and you go inside that door. And then after you go inside that door, it takes you to another game, but you just get this item in your inventory for going through the door. So as far as finding the door, just make sure you watch this video and see where I'm going from that original location it's pretty far in the back it's one of the furthest back uh, actual actual uh, doors that you have to find it might be helpful if you hop on one of those little rides but I, I haven't really been using boats in in these tutorials so I've just been kind of showing you walking to the location and doing normal speed because I've heard some of you guys didn't like it when I was doing the double speed in some of the videos in the past so hopefully you guys are uh, are using this speed pretty well but anyhow once you go way 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 back here see that little skull on the left and you went in that door but over on the right side there is this pirate ship and then you go and find that pirate ship. Basically, you just get on top of it. And then across the little dock, there is a uh, door and you can go in there. So I just jumped on that boat and then got on this dock. And then there's the pirate ship right there. And then right across is this door and it's under a little eave there. So once you enter this, it will take you into the game hunted. And then you can check your inventory and you will see you've got this super creepy Creeps the Clown hat. I don't know. This is super scary. It's This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in Roblox. But thank you guys for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out. And we will see you guys later. What is up guys and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming. I'd like to show you how to get this really cool Jack-O-Lantern Fedora in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video and check it out and I'll show you exactly how to get this thing. Okay, so as a little overhead view of what we are doing here, we are starting out here in the parking lot where we spawned originally, and then we're going to go across this little purple carpet and across this whole haunted district, then through here, past this little mansion, and then behind the mansion, there is another little island. It's got a couple trees, and it's got this little castle thing, and then in the bottom of the castle thing is a door, and that is going to take you to the game Flee the Facility. 
and back to the Swampland entrance on ground level where we start out with all these videos. This is where you started out in the original spawn location, but you might be somewhere else. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go across this purple carpet as always. This is another one. We just go into the, uh, the door from this teleport and there's no mission inside the game. You just get this item for free just for teleporting, which I think is a really cool item to get for just kind of going across the map and finding a door. Uh, so you're going to go all the way back here. Remember that man? mansion where we've got the dark and more door here on the left side and then uh, there's a little ride if you go inside the mansion it's kind of a spooky little ride but behind the mansion is where you want to go past this tree and you'll see there is another little island over there with uh, it looks like a part of a castle like a an incomplete castle that's in two trees i'm not sure but anyhow there is a door at the bottom and your objective is to go in that door and then after you go in this door you will be teleported to flee the facility but more importantly you will have this item in your inventory i hope this has been helpful for you guys if you're new here please subscribe and hit the notification bell before you head out so you guys are notified about future videos for events what is up everybody and welcome back once again i want to show you as a part of the roblox 2018 halloween event how to get this really cool spooky flame head this thing is really cool looking and it's another easy prize to get so watch this video and i'll show you exactly how to get this okay so as an overhead what we're doing uh we're starting here in the parking lot in the swampland entrance and then we're going to basically go across the purple carpet as we usually do then we're going to go through the whole haunted district and then we're going to come past here and then we're going to go to this little island and across this little island to this island and then back over here to Blackbeard Swamp and then around his uh, his little swamp area is a house where you can enter into a door to get to the game Finders Keepers. All right, and here we are once again on the ground level at the normal starting point at the Swampland entrance where we spawned at the very beginning. Again, you could be spawning from different locations, so use the map as a little reference. And we're going to do another video here at the very end that's going to show, you know, we'll find that later. That's going to show how to get to basically all the doors in one video. So you'll know how to get from the last door to the next door and also use the map that I showed you in the beginning in the overhead view. Uh, so as always, we're going across this whole area, across the Haunted District. Uh, we're going pretty far to the back here so uh, around behind this mansion behind that door there see that door to the right that's the one that we use to go to uh, dark and more so we're going behind this haunted mansion collecting some candy on the way but you can look back there there's there's a big there's a big skull so we're, we're taking this little uh, path back here see that big skull in the back you basically want to head towards that big skull. Uh, the, the island on the left there, that is the one that we use to get to Death Run in order to get the Grim Reaper hood, which we showed you in a different video. So just keep going all the way back to where that skull is. You see, see back there? So this is known as Blackbeard's Lagoon. As you can see, this guy right there, that's Blackbeard, that little skeleton. So you turn right around the corner from where he is, and then you will see this little tiny building in this uh in in this little tiny island and then in that building is when you go to the top and you enter and this is another one of those items all you have to do is go into the door and then it's going to teleport you to this game called finders keepers and then after you get teleported over to finders keepers of course you will have that awesome item in your inventory and here it is on my avatar. I don't know about you guys, but I think this one looks pretty lit. <laughs> Get it? Like, okay. Uh, never mind. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out if this is your first time here. So you guys are notified about future event videos and future live streams so you can come and hang out during one of those. All right. Thanks. Bye. What is up guys and welcome back. I want to show you how to get this Grim Reaper hood in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video and I will show you exactly how to get it. Okay, so to show you a little overhead view of what we're doing here, we're starting here in this parking lot and then we're going to go across here, across the purple carpet, and then we're going to go across this little island and then swim a little bit, go to a second island around these trees and then to another island over here, then climb to the top and then there is a door to enter the game Death Run. Okay, so here we are once again at ground level where we usually start in the Swampland entrance. We're going to do our usual walk across the purple carpet. Uh, so we're also going to say hi to that little skeleton guy on the left side. Uh, this is kind of, we're starting to get to where some of these are a little bit further back and not so close to the entrance. Say hi to Gert there on the right side. So as always, we're going past here. We're going back. This is kind of close to where the Styles Hair Salon uh door is we're gonna pass that one that's here on the left side right here 
and then we're going past that store going all the way past these fake buildings and then you can see across here if you go swimming there is this little uh, island on the other side nothing cool or special over there for you guys to to go into or any no, or any item just a really cool tree built by Bism. but across the other side we're gonna have to swim a little bit more you see where there's the the pink and the blue uh flowers up there those are pretty easy to recognize and then the little skulls so on this island you want to climb to the top and at the very top of this building you are going to find another door so this is another one of those items where all you have to do is go in the door and then you get the item for free it's just going to end up in your inventory there's uh no special missions or anything in the death run game uh, but it's definitely a good game so i recommend you guys check it out so once you get to the top of that you're going to see this you enter into that door and then it's going to teleport you over to death run and then you will have this in your inventory Looks pretty cool, but I'm not sure if it really goes with the Dominus. But uh, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified about future event videos and come hang out in some of our live streams. We have a really good time in those as well. All right, thanks. Bye. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you how to get these web phones in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So watch this video, and I will show you exactly how to get these. Okay, so as an overhead shot, what we're doing is we're starting right here in the parking lot. We're going to go across this little purple carpet, and then we're going to take a left over here, past the Styles makeover area, and then across this water, and then to this Boardwalk Tycoon entrance, this little door right in front of the ride. Okay, so here we are on ground level once again, starting out in the little parking lot at the Swampland entrance. So we're going to do our usual walk across the purple carpet, uh, say hello to this tree. There's another way you could go back there if you want. You can just kind of take uh, this, this direction and you can go back across that little, just follow that along the the water and you can swim over to the area as well but we're going to show you across the purple carpet because we like to walk on land as much as possible but this is another one of those easy ones where all you have to do is go inside the door from this uh this map that we have in the link below and then after you go into this door from the map then you just go across there and then you get the item there's no special uh like tasks or missions that you have to do inside the game all you have to do is go into this door and it's another one of those it will uh just end up in your inventory Inventory. So that door right there is the Styles Hair Salon one that we showed you in a different video to get the uh, web infested antlers. But then all you have to do is go behind that, swim across, and you'll see that little guy. And then there's a ride over there to the right. But to the left side of the ride is one of these doors. You just do the normal thing, enter that door. And then after you enter that door, it's going to take you to the game Boardwalk Tycoon. And then you're going to have these in your inventory. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. What is up guys and welcome back. I wanna show you how to get these awesome web infested antlers as a part of the 2018 Halloween event in Roblox. So check out this video and I will show you exactly how to get these bad boys. Okay, so as a little overhead view, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here in the parking lot where we spawn in the original spot. And then we're gonna go over here across the purple carpet. And then we're gonna take a left. And over here, there's a little town and one of those doors that we're gonna show you is going to get you to Styles Makeover. All right, and here we are on the ground floor once again at the spot where we started on the other side of the purple carpet. So we're going to head across the purple carpet, and this item is another free one. All you have to do is go into the door from this spot. If you just go to the game without going through this teleporter, it doesn't work. Uh, remember to say hello to Gert. You can also sit on him and uh, take a little Gert ride if you want. Uh, but all you have to do is come over here, and then on the left side... You're going to see all these little uh, villages, this little town. It's kind of a fake town, basically, because they're not real houses. But one of them is, and that house has a door that you can go in. Next to it is a little store on the right side. So if you need something, that's the store. Uh, so this is the door. It's the first one on the left that you see. Once you enter that, you'll go into Styles Makeover, and then you will end up with these antlers these webbed antlers which are pretty cool as you can see they're a pretty good size so i hope this has been helpful for you guys if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified about future event videos and fun live streams Hello everyone and welcome back. I want to show you how to get this Jacko Pail in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event. So check out this video and I'll show you exactly how to get this. Okay, so we're going to start here in this location. This is a little overhead view. We're going to go across the purple carpet. We're going to go around here and then we're going to come over here to this door that uh, lets us into the Dark and More game. Okay, so here we are at ground level, starting out in the parking lot on the other side of the purple carpet, just like we showed you in the overhead view. So we're going to take our little stroll once again across the purple carpet. There's 10 of these doors, and we start all of these videos across 
from the purple carpet in that little parking lot. So uh, you'll see Gert over there on the left side. Make sure you say hello to Gert when you're passing him. It's, he thinks it's rude if you don't say hello to him. So basically in the very back over there, there is a mansion. But before you head up to the mansion, which is a haunted mansion and a cool ride, you have to go into this little door and then this will take you to the game Darkenmore. Once you go and you press the button and you get teleported over there, Darkenmore is the game. There are other items in the game, but all you have to do is teleport through this door. And then after you teleport, you will have this awesome little uh, Jacko pill, this Jacko lantern pill for trick or treating. So thank you for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out if you want to see more event videos. And we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys and welcome back. I want to show you how to get this jack-o'-lantern book bag as a part of the 2018 Halloween event in Roblox. So watch this video and I'll show you exactly how to get this. Okay, so as an overhead view, what we're doing, we are starting out over here in this little star area, this little parking lot. This is where everybody starts out as spawning. So this is where we're going to start with all of the tutorials in this one location. So we're going to go from here. We're going to go across the purple carpet and then we're going to be taking a right here at Robloxian High School. Okay, so here we are at ground level. We are spawning. Uh, this is the original spot that you start out. Sometimes you might start out in a different location depending on the last door that you went in. So refer to the map that we showed you if you need help to find a way to get around the map or just find your way back to the original spawn area. So you're going to go across this purple carpet. You're going to try not to slip on any of that slime. This is really easy. So in order to get this backpack, all you have to do is go through the door. There's no mission inside the game. All you have to do is teleport to the game from the store. So once you go to it, you enter that little door and you're going to get a little animation. It is going to teleport you to Robloxian High School. Now this item is something that you will just get in your inventory for using the teleport. There are two other items that you can get in Robloxian High School and I've got videos that will be out to show you exactly how to get those two items. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you've got the notification bell on if this is your first time and come hang out with us during some of these live streams in the future as well. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Welcome back everybody. I want to show you how to get these Grave Shaker pauldrons in the Halloween 2018 event. It is really, I'd say one of the easiest items that you can get for this event because all you really have to do is join the server. But they look really cool. I put them on and just to show you guys kind of a little sample of what they look like, uh, it's a pretty nice little item. So what you need to do, you know this Halloween event that's going on right now? Well, all you have to do is join it. So if you just join, you get a free item. It's really cool. You just pop in. There's a link in the description below. As soon as you join, you're going to have this. Uh, you're going to have a badge and you're going to have this item for free in your inventory. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you guys are new, I'd love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell because there's going to be event videos for this entire event and future events. So make sure you guys have the notifications on and come hang out in some of our live streams. We'd like to have fun and hang out as a community and play together in live streams as well. Hello and welcome back and this guys is the final grand prize for the 2018 halloween event so what you have to do in order to get this you have to get all 17 other prizes so there are videos on this channel that tell you how to get every single prize most of them you go into the doors there's 10 doors that you go into but then there's also uh there's there's one prize that you get for just going into the game so there's 11 basically that you get that way and then there's six other prizes that you get from going into the escape room from going into robloxian high school and also going into dark and more so there's videos on this channel that show you how to get all of those so if you've watched all those and you've got all those items then don't worry at the end of this event I think the event ends around November 17th, so close to the end of that, you will end up with this in your inventory if you got all the other items. So make sure you get all the other items, and then when that time comes, when the event is over, you will have this item in your inventory. Thanks for watching, and if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!